Hey guys, Corey Adam from Free Play Arcade here. We're at my old law firm, and we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. We've been trying to get back to these walkthrough videos, and this one is gonna have a really, really cool surprise in the back. It feels like a lifetime ago, but just a few years ago, I was spending every single day here at my law firm. Uh, and there's a very specific reason we picked up this building, and it has to do with what we can have access to in the back. So yeah, here it is, hiding, hiding, solving problems. We've got our conference room, we've got art on the walls. I mean, it was a real awesome law firm. I had cards, it was a, I mean, I was a lawyer. Um, I had a bunch of degrees on the walls, computers and everything, but the reason we picked this office to start from scratch with, and we built this whole thing up ourselves, was the kind of access and the kind of power we had in the back. So I could start storing arcade games, pinball, miscellaneous stuff here. Uh, so you come back and it immediately transforms into just a lot of storage, basically, of arcades. So we had our old work table. We've got a Defender cocktail there, uh, a Need for Speed Underground. This is actually a really sad story. I bought this really early in my um, buying because my wife, Kelsey, she said it was one of her favorite all-time games um, from when she was like a teenager going to arcades. Bought one and the hard drive crashed on the way and it's still waiting to be fixed. Uh, then we've got some of the pinball you've seen teed off, one of my favorites, uh, Twilight Zone, one of everyone's favorites, a Whirlwind, we've got an F-14 Tomcat, a Terminator 2, that hilarious spring break, uh, a sad story about the spring break, we had it out, uh, playing awesome, really, really goofy pin, and it just, it went down on us, and we haven't had time to get to it yet, uh, that was pretty recent. You walk through here, you can't really see uh, in here very well, and I would turn on the lights, but Actually, let me see if I can get back there. It's kind of funny. I, this room used to be one of the coolest rooms in the world because we had a bunch of arcades and a ton of blacklight strips. Because if you can't see up here, we have a huge blacklight fixture, but there's nothing really in here that's reactive anymore. Um, we've got an old Arkanoid, a really cool Century Swimmer, Cocktail, Mint, that we've never been able to get out. Lunar Lander, a launch game for Richardson, has an issue with the control that I haven't been able to fix since then. Uh, that one we should be getting up soon a random auction buy, and then yeah, these are just PCBs, PCBs. This is a NOS four slot, uh, Neo Geo. Just tons and tons of stuff that I'm just tripping over uh, because it is uh, just storage. Um, and yeah, I mean, I see Daytona control panels, a Space Invaders board. Right here, uh, if you zoom, or if you look down, we've got back glasses um, and uh, bezels for probably 50 or 60 games that we got it as a lot purchase. Uh, here we have the original Super Mario Bros. pinball that was at uh, Richardson. Uh, it's almost back, ready to go. It's just been taking a lot of work. Um, one of our Slugfests is our Slugfest parts cab, um, which we don't even have a Slugfest out anymore, uh, which you'll see the other one soon. The pin bot that we had out at Richardson, uh, the fun house that is now just, just about ready to go back. The Cyclone, this is actually one of my favorite pins, and I don't even know if it has problems. It's not ever super popular, but I love this pinball. Uh, another Twilight Zone, just for fun. Uh, we should have one or two outs pretty soon. Another T2. Uh, we ended up with two on accident. Uh, we never really intended. But I do think uh, it's an all-time great that we need to get out. Uh, a Time Crisis 3 just hanging out here. There's a Time Crisis 2 topper. This looks like a final lap seat. I don't know where it came from. Uh, Williams Pharaoh that I bought on a Lark. Um, because I love Magna Save games, and this was, you know, Black Knight has a top playfield and a Magna Save. Pharaoh was kind of the other one. I, in some days, I like Pharaoh more. It's in a little rough shape. I don't know if we'll ever get it. A Bally Centaur, one of the coolest art, like art piece slash pinballs that was ever made. Uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, which has really been climbing the charts lately. I always thought it was really great. It's got a lot going on, um, and we need to get it back out. Another Star Trek Next Generation. This was in really good shape. This is an all original Star Trek Next Generation that we found um, that was almost entirely home use only throughout its life. We need to do some work. It probably it looks like the screen's going a little bit on it. It has all those original bulbs. Uh, this is the Slugfest. Still works. Still great. Um, we bought some awesome pieces for it. Uh, the truth is it just wasn't as popular as a regular pinball. I think it's really cool and we used to love giving away those cards. It, maybe you'll see it pop up in Fort Worth. All right, here is a Jersey Jack Wizard of Oz. Uh, kind of hard to see. I can't remember if that's Yellow Brick Road or not. This was one of the very first um, pinballs I bought. Really terrible, but it's the, you know, something's gotta start the addiction. Special Force. Um, and if you look, 
there's a European alternate uh, backlash that they made for this that randomly had a woman in a bikini. Uh, it's actually when you're playing it, it's pretty uh, pretty absurd as it is because it's really making kind of a farce on the war. Like you're just dropping napalm on people in a pinball for no reason. How's the Dead 2? One of them. Oh, here's a rare game that's just buried in parts that makes me feel sad. Uh, Universal Zero Hour. Uh, it's in mint condition, except we have a very minor board glitch. It has a brand new monitor sitting in it. Uh, when I said we had a lot of electricity, this is just kind of me bragging about this sweet building. You'll look back there, huge transformer, tons of power coming into here. Uh, it's just, it was a great, great sight. Now we're gonna walk into the warehouse that honestly never got used as much as it should. More and more parts, uh, boxes of monitor chassis, monitors. You've got it like a fully, fully restored uh, Asteroids control panel that we just haven't used yet. Up there, you've got an original Star Wars plastic. I see some more monitors. MK2 board set. Uh, I think there's a Contra right there. Uh, this is really a fun purchase. It's uh, the Clean Sweep Claw game that we are gonna use one day. Fully working, we just need to replace about 100 bulbs in it. So uh, one day we'll get there. Uh, weird uh, air hockey that we ended up just taking on trade. I don't remember what it was for. Tekken Tag, the one everyone hated, despite being a nice version that was called for in the manual. Whatever, we have another Tekken Tag at Arlington. An E-Dot uh, that needs some work. Um, came out of an actual local arcade. Uh, needs some woodwork, but it is an original uncut E-Dot that has uh, seen better days. One day we'll get around to restoring it, but I mean, there's some monitors over there. It's we don't even come here anymore, and it's depressing me the more I walk through it. But this is kind of where it all started. Hey, there's the final lap two marquee up there, so I know those seats must have been a final lap uh, seats. But yeah, this is uh, this is it. I'm hoping you see some of these pins, some of these games soon. Um, but as you you might kind of realize now, why I picked this location for our law firm. Uh, I think it was an old uh, manufacturing firm for like a high tech company and uh, we turned it into this and this is just part of our collection and you might see some other stuff that you've seen in other walkthroughs here. Uh, we've been doing these walkthroughs off and on for months and months and months and we have to move equipment constantly. So if you see something that you've seen in another walkthrough, it's probably not a duplicate. It is probably just been moved and we're going to try to keep doing walkthroughs. Uh, more often so you can kind of see things shifting around. But for now, that is my law firm uh, slash arcade storage warehouse. Uh, and stay subscribed, stay watching, and check us out on the next one.